So I love to have a great beachy wave, but a lot of times I don't have the time to actually go through all of my hair with a curling iron. So most of the time I'm using hot rollers. I will put my hair in hot rollers to let them set while I'm doing my makeup to just save time. So I don't have a lot of time to usually use some kind of curling iron. But today I wanna show you how I use the Beach Waver to get those beautiful waves so they're not those tight curls, they're just a really gorgeous wave. I've only used this a couple of times. I've taken it on a couple of trips with me to get ready with this. So I actually wanted to show you how I will curl my hair using this Beach Waver. It's such a great tool. And I wanna tell you a little bit about my hair. First of all, I have lots of layers. So you're gonna see me actually section out my hair to show you how I curl. A lot of times if you have just one la even layer, as you can see, I've got lots of layers in my hair. But if you have just straight, no layers in it, it would be easy to just take it section by section as you go around and do it. But because I have so many layers, it's not really easy because I have this short layer and this long one. So I'm not gonna just take one section and do that. So the best way for me with layers in my hair is to section it out. So that's why I'll, that's the way that I will be doing it for you guys today. But if you do have just one length hair, it's really super easy and simple to just go around your hair without having to section it out. And we're gonna time how long it's gonna take to do this because I've got a lot of hair. I have some thick hair and I would say I've got a medium length. So I'm going to see how long it's going to actually take. This is supposed to have an automatic shut off valve for 30 minutes. So I'm hoping it's not going to take longer than 30 minutes. I've never timed it before, but it does seem like it takes me a little while to do this with all of my hair and all of the sections, but we're going to try this out. This is the Beach Waver B1 and I'm going to show you today how I style my hair and what it's going to look like after. Went ahead and plugged it up so we could get started. Here is the power button on this and it has three different settings. It's got the lowest heat setting and then a medium and then a high. I usually keep mine on medium for that. And then right here is where you're going to have the buttons to roll it each way. You want to make sure you roll it the correct way because if you roll it backwards where you're rolling the roller, the barrel over your hair, then it's going to kink it at the bottom. So you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you're going the right way and you'll see me several times go the wrong way. This is the one inch barrel. They also have a one and a half inch barrel. And I think they even have one that interchanges with some, but I got this one because I like the one inch barrel best. And this is the B1. I know there's some other ones that have where you can hit a home button and then this will go back to where it's supposed to be because you've got your little stand right here. So when you set it down, you're gonna have the stand, but where I have it now, the clip thing is right there where the stand is. So it's not gonna sit real evenly. So they do have a home button on some of the different kinds, but with mine, they don't have that where you can just hit it and it'll go straight to where this is in the front again, but I don't seem to mind where it is. It does have this swivel. This is in the midnight rose, but they have some really fun colors, bright colors, but I just like the classic look. So I just got this one. And actually, I think I got this one because it was on sale on Amazon. So let me go ahead while it's warming up, section out my hair and we'll get started. So again, I have it on the medium heat setting and we'll see how long this is going to take. I am just going to brush it out. And as you can see, I do have those layers in there and my hair is getting a little bit dry. So I should probably be putting more product on here. But I did want to also say that my hair is a day washed. I don't like to do this on really clean hair because I don't like the softness of the clean hair. I just don't think that it does as well. So I'm gonna do this bottom part first and then I kind of just section the top part out in twos and then just kind of wrap it around, get it out of the way and clip it up. And I used to have some smaller clips, but now I'm just using my regular clips to clip that in. So that you get all those layers kind of evened out on this. Okay, so I think that it has heated up enough. And so I'm going to get about that size, maybe a little bit smaller than that, probably about an inch size to start to curl. And then I'm going to, you see where it has that little bit of a clip at the bottom of that? I'm going to put it to where it will be curling toward my face for this one. And I'm going to leave a little bit out at the bottom just so it's not curled all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to push the button, hopefully the right way. And you don't want to go the opposite way to where the barrel is going over the hair. It's gonna kink it at the bottom because I have done that before when I first started and it just kinked at the bottom and you couldn't get that out and it didn't look good. So always make sure you're curling it in the right direction. And then you can see that really nice curl. And then I kind of just curl it myself a little bit when I get it done. 
and then you can kind of see how cute that is. So let me get some more started here. And that one's too big of a section. You can alternate the sections and that's what I do. I will put some smaller ones and then sometimes I will do some bigger ones and just get a little bit of a different look. But I do like to go all the way up to the scalp. I know that's preference whether you want those curls or those waves all the way up to the scalp, or if you want that little bit of straightness at the um, top of that, then that's just gonna depend on what your preference is, whether you wanna go all the way to the scalp or not. And I try to get as close as I can without burning myself. You know, I have been known to do that as well. So there you go. And I kinda just twirl it again, some really cute waves. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole bottom part of this and kind of fast forward it for you guys so you can see and the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to do like a little bit of a smaller section to see just have a little bit of variance so they're not all so uniform i'll do some bigger sections and i'll do some smaller sections and i just want to show you what i was meaning by the opposite way so like you can see how this is curling the correct way if you do it the opposite way where you're kind of having the barrel over this hair then that's where it's gonna kink. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that it goes in a round, smooth way and not over itself. That way you don't get that kink. So I will get finished with this bottom section and we will do that in some fast forward motion for you guys. <music> Okay, so now I have the bottom section finished and I'm going to kind of just scoot that to the back and then I will start on this section over here on this side. And again, I am just going to finish up on this because it's basically gonna be the same thing throughout the entire hair. As you can see, I've got two of different layer lengths on this one too. So I'm just gonna kind of put this one back up and get it out of the way while I'm doing this bottom section with the longer hair. I mean, I have so many different lengths of hair on here. So I'm going to do this section and I'm actually going to change this up a little bit and where I was having it go like toward my face, I'm gonna have it going away and we're just gonna change up the look. So that's what I like to do is vary it a little bit. For some of them, I will have it going toward my face. For some of them, I'll have them going away from my face just to kind of make them a little bit different. And then at the same time, I will do smaller sections and bigger sections to kind of just change it up a little bit for that too. So let me get finished with these sections here and then we will come back. I wanted to kind of let you know where I was at as far as time wise. It has taken 10 minutes so far to do that bottom section and then most of this section on this one side. And you can see how pretty those waves are. So pretty. And I have been alternating again with the size of them. I've been doing some small ones and some, whoops, and some larger ones. See how pretty those curls are. Make sure I get it all so I don't have those straight strays there. This is just so neat that you just let it do itself. It just push a button and it does itself. That's really cool. And I just love the way it gives those beachy waves. But I kind of wanted to show you how this looked 
and compared to the way it started, kind of give you a side by side with this one that's not done. So you can kind of see one side versus the other. And I missed that one. Shoot. Let me do this over here. See, trial and error, guys. I'm doing this on camera, messing up all my hair. Oh, that's too pretty, though, to put back in there. So I guess I'm doing a little small section right here. So this one's not straight. That's a little bit too small, but we'll see how it turns out. I kind of wanted to show you. Let me separate this so I won't get it confused on what I've done and what I've not done. Just the difference right here with the straight hair and then how it looks after you use the beach waver. I think that's a really good, like kind of showing you a side by side where you can see the part that's not done versus the part that has the beach waver. So as I was saying earlier, usually what I will do is I will just use some, you saw that steam coming off of that? Woo. I will usually use hot rollers and just put about eight or 10 in my hair and then just let them set while I'm doing my makeup because that's just the easiest, simplest, quickest thing to do. But I don't know, my hair doesn't really hold curl too well and it will, gosh, be flat in 15, 20 minutes after that. But it still has a little bit of body, which is really what I like. And then it doesn't look so coarse and where you can really see the layers defined and separated out. So that's why I will try to hot roll my hair, but I like the way that this looks better. And I have noticed, because I want to tell you this too, because you're doing all this work, how long it usually lasts. So I have noticed the two times that I have used this before that when I use it, these actually will stay till the next day. So that's one of the reasons that I really like to do this if I have the time to do it is because it lasts longer than if I do the hot rollers, which are flat within 15 minutes after I do it, or a curling iron, regular curling iron, will last a little bit longer, but none of it lasts as long as this. And see what I mean about how this is in the front, so your stand is right back here, but then your little clip is over here, so you can just move this around to, whoops, to where it's at the front, if I could get it right, and you can set it down, no problem. So I think that I'm good and I can t go ahead and turn that off because I don't see any pieces that, oops, I did miss the piece right here. So again, when you section your hair, that's why it's easier if you do have just like one length of hair to just be able to go around your hair instead of having to do it in sections like me because I missed that one section and now I've got two sections going. It is what it is. I am who I am. And I'm not a professional at this at all. But I do want to show you how just a normal person can use this beach waver and the look that you can get with it. So let me go ahead and turn this off before I forget to do that. And I did notice that it didn't turn off and it's supposed to have an automatic shut off 30 minutes. So it's not taking 30 minutes. So let's see exactly how long that it took. So it took... It took 24 minutes to do my complete hair. So now you can kind of see that you've got those really cute beachy waves and you saw what my hair looked like. And then I showed you the side by side of how it looked when it was curled on one side and then how it looked before I got started. So at this point, some people like to brush it out. I don't want to do that because I like the way that it looks now. Just that kind of tighter beachy wave. So you could kind of go through with your fingers a little bit and kind of comb it with your fingers, but I don't like to brush it because that loosens it up and I like the way that it looks now instead of having that looser look. So if you want to, you can brush it out. I'm not gonna do that because I like this look a little bit better, but I do like to use this when I'm finished. It's um, SGX NYC. It's the do it all, the three in one, dry texture spray. So this kind of works like a dry shampoo and a volumizer, a root lifter, and um, kind of like a hairspray as well. Yeah, it does say it's a dry shampoo meets a hairspray. Volume plus refresh plus hold. This is something that I purchased off of Amazon because it is much cheaper than the dry bar triple, was it the triple something? that I used to have, which is the same thing as this. This is a great dupe for that. I used to get that and that bottle like this would be $36 or $32. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've bought it. I can't remember how much it was, but, um, or the name of it, but it was from Dry Bar and it was that three in one thing. And it was so good. I used it on my hair all the time. And then when I found this one on Amazon, I had to get this one because it's a great dupe. And I think I got a four pack of this for the price that I got just one of the bottles from Dry Bar. So I really like this to just kind of give me a little bit of volume and stuff. So when I'm finished 
with curling it. I just kind of put it, raise my hair up a little bit, put it at the roots because I don't like it to be so flat. Some people like that look, but I like a little bit of a volume. And this is really good because you can kind of piece your hair together as you're using this and get a little bit. So you can see the difference. You see the difference where I sprayed it on this side where it's giving it a little bit of lift as far as this side over here is a little bit flatter. You can kind of see the difference right there in the middle. I really love, this is a great product. I use it all the time just to give myself a little bit of body and then I kind of put it in the back too to give myself a little bit of body back there. But you can just kind of piece your hair however you want to. And it says it also works as a hairspray too. So I'll just spray this all over my hair. And again, like I said, you could comb this out, pick this, brush this out if you want to, but I kind of just like to run my fingers through it and just kind of shake it a little bit just to give it that look. So now you can see the finished look of the Beach Waver and that's the one inch barrel. They do have a one and a half inch barrel, but um, woo, that went not where I wanted it to. But I just like to give it that little bit a volume and I think the one inch is the perfect size to get those really cute beachy waves and again this will last me until tomorrow so like tomorrow morning it'll be a little bit looser but you'll still have a little bit of that structure so you can see I've given it a little bit of lift up here on the roots as well with the product here. I'll link this down below if you guys want to check it out because it's a really good product. I like it. And I'll also link the Beach Waver that I picked up because it was on sale at Amazon. I know they have some sales maybe on Beach Waver's website. I don't know, but I did pick it up off of Amazon because it was really cheaper than regular price. So this is the finished look. And I did have somebody ask me to do this a long time ago and I feel horrible that I'm just now doing it. But I'm hoping that this was helpful for you guys. If you're thinking about getting the beach waver or if you want some kind of wavy look, but you think that it's going to take a little bit longer than it really does. Like I said, I've got a lot of hair and I've got sections that I had to section it out. So if you're just going around your hair without having to section it, 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 will, it will take you even less time, which will be really nice to just be able to do this in less time than what it took me. But it did take me under 30 minutes because it did not shut off. It's supposed to have a shut off valve in 30 minutes. But I did time it to see how long that it was gonna take. And I think that I love this just looser look. I just think it gives you a really great, fun look to your hair from going from straight. And it's not one of those really tight curls and it's not that crimped look. I just really like this look. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, you guys. And I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button because I do weekly videos on a fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.